Hey, what's going on, saltwater soldiers? Had a uh, little mishap on the boat, so I wouldn't say mishap, but check this out. I got this basically con corrosion. Um, this right here is not galvanized, and this part is. Um, if you can see these little dark spots, I actually put anti corrosion on here, but what I figure that I do is since I use a pressure washer to uh, to clean my boat all over it's probably taking it off so I probably need to add more anti-corrosion so this is what we got I'm gonna be replacing axles which is not good I had to take off my fender wheel already about to unbolt these I got to measure them out drill holes and then mount the new ones on there before we can roll um, luckily enough I had a a lot of people that helped me out got stuck over I guess at Bucky's for a little while um, I had to uh, I, I called a friend and he said that he would come if I needed but he showed it up showed up really appreciate that uh, my daughter she brought me tools as well to get us back or get a tire off so we could get down the road and then my nephew I showed up at his house today and uh, he already had it off busted off for me ready to go so I went and picked the axles up. They don't have the old, uh, the Lee spring axles in stock. You actually have to get them custom made. Um, so it's going to be about a week or two, and that's the only thing that they had. So I'm going to be changing that axles today. Um, done it before, before once on the boat, but these are a uh, torque torque axles, and well, that's what we're going to get into. So let me get to uh, let me get to unbolting some stuff. All right, so we got a little bit of progress here. I then knocked off both the axles, cleaned all the hanging bolts that were holding the axles. Now I got to bring these bad boys and line them up pretty much just like so underneath the trailer. Drill holes, bolt them up and go to the water. <laughs> this is what I found. This is the one that's damaged and I don't know if you can tell the difference from here to how thick this one is and on the other end of this one I don't know whether you see this but this metal is actually just been flaking off from the inside look at how thick that is so that's why that other one is so thin and the same thing here it's just flaking off like this so I guess the the guy I got them from or the store I got them from said that corrosion X prevents that um, you know from happening and I could weld these back but that I would still have problems later on it's pretty freaking hot so this is where the tire was leaning and you see that it's just basically just rubbed rubbed on there didn't do any damage just put a little tire on there so now let me get these lined up and try to install the freaking uh the freaking other axles all right let's go Look at that, we almost got it done. Got the first ones bolted up. Got these marked. We're about to actually drill holes uh, on the undercarriage right there in the frame. Got my boy Lonnie helping me over there. Carrying the axle, the old axle, the broken ones. So we almost got it. We're just gonna bolt these up, put the tires on it. Hopefully with the, uh, these are new, a new style axle um, that we're trying, that I'm trying out, that uh, it doesn't have any more of the, uh, the leaf springs. This is a tor torsion axle. Um, so this acts as a leaf, leaf springs. They actually bend back and forth. So as long as it doesn't hit this up here, the little fender, fender well, we should be okay. 
and uh, be ready to go fishing again. So let's uh, let's get it bolted up. That's what's up, baby. We got them back on. They all lined up. Got the, uh, the other side all buttoned up. It's on the ground. Got space underneath the fender wheels. This is what I was worried about right here. Um, what I may do is I may change them out and get 14s instead of the 15s these are actually i put those on extra so it gave it less space so i may go back with the 14s um and just change it out but we got the new axles back on they're actually uh super super sturdy you see those new axles it's actually just like the old axle uh, there's two main axles so now we have four and uh those things are stout. So big shout out to my boy over there. The camera got him. He came That's through. He came through after work. That's what's up. Did a little little project. Homies helping homies. Yep. That's how we roll. So, so what we try to do is get down on the water, bring us some more content. Uh, it slowed us down a day or two, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. I appreciate everybody that helped out uh that helped me get over here i actually got stuck at bucky's but i got over here uh lonnie came through after work helped me button everything up knock everything out be rolling again so so next time appreciate everybody if you would uh keep subscribing share my videos like subscribe like subscribe like yep. subscribe thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up subscribe yep and we'll keep doing what we do so till next time that's what's up that's what's up all right